guys, welcome back to Raw Synergy TV. Last week I talked about getting rid of all the products that you use that are full of toxic chemicals so that you're not retoxing your body. This week I want to talk about how to get rid of all the toxins and chemicals that are inside your body with one of the best methods that I know of. And this is specifically and especially for getting rid of heavy metals and other chemicals like lead, cadmium, mercury, arsenic, and even BPA. I'm also going to share exactly how I use this method, how often, and how you can use this exact same method yourself with a number of different ways. All of that is coming up in this video right now. When my mom got sick last year with brain cancer, the healing practitioners she worked with were very adamant that she needed to sweat. Because sweating has been known for thousands of years to help the body eliminate toxins, chemicals, and heavy metals from the body. This can be done in a number of different ways. You can do it through endurance exercise, you can do it with a steam sauna, with a dry sauna, or with infrared saunas. Studies have shown that even when these chemicals don't show up in your blood, or your urine that they do show up in your sweat. Once we realized the importance of getting my mom in a sauna and getting her sweating, my dad bought her a steam sauna. This sauna was great because she could lay down in it and we could transfer her from her bed to the sauna quite easily. However, when it came to our own personal use and wanting to use it on our own, it was quite cumbersome. First of all, you needed to have at least two people operating the sauna between the person who was using the sauna and the person who was operating it. You had to wait for the sauna to heat up with the steam. Then you had to protect your legs from the heat of the steam. The sauna made a mess of water everywhere. There was a lot of preparation to set up the sauna beforehand and a lot of effort in cleaning up afterward. It also was a little bit complicated because you couldn't really tell how much you were sweating because you were covered in steam. But I will say it is a great way to get your body to sweat. Now if you have access to your own sauna, if you have access to a gym where you can go every day or several times a week, and they have saunas there that you can use, whether they're steam saunas or dry saunas or infrared saunas. It is a great opportunity for you to take advantage of the sauna that's available. Now I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit here and talk a little bit about my experience. As many of you know, we recently moved and we've been remodeling our house all summer long. A lot of the work we have done ourselves, it's been a great experience getting the chance to make our home exactly as we want it. So it just so happened that we went to the container store to look at their closet designs. And we got a quote from the people there and at the very bottom of the quote it said if you have a house built before 1978 you're going to have to pay extra because most likely the walls contain lead paint and a light bulb went off our house was built in 1972 we knocked down the walls we did a bunch of work on the house with no protection no gloves no masks nothing and I I was doing a lot of the work and handling the, the drywall, all the dust and the debris, so I was really exposed to all of that. So a couple days later I tested the walls here and they do contain lead. So after learning about all of this and knowing what I know, I decided I was going to start sauna therapy every single day. So I borrowed my parents' sauna. I did the steam sauna every single day for one week. And within three days, I started getting a metallic taste on the back of my tongue. Very strong. It was literally like having a piece of metal in my mouth. Around this time, I started to have aches and pains in my body. Like, I almost felt like my organs were squeezing. Like there was this squeezing tight feeling in my lower back and in my sides, the sides of my back and in my lower back and lots of just kind of like aches and pains everywhere in my body in different places. It was pretty uncomfortable and it kind of 
came and went. Sometimes it felt like it was deep within my bones, like there was this aching in my bones. And I was uncomfortable to walk sometimes. Not so bad that I couldn't function during the day, but it was just that I was very aware of these sensations in my body. I think on the fifth day, my teeth and my gums were very sensitive. Very, very sensitive. And over the course of the week, I kept having that metallic taste in my mouth. It was very interesting to me because I was online researching the reactions that I was having after being in the sauna and trying to correlate them between releasing heavy metals. And I found on rawfoodexplained.com where TC Fry wrote about when you're detoxing heavy metals from your body and he described almost exactly identical everything that I was experiencing. And I just found that fascinating. So it confirmed to me that I was releasing heavy metals and still am releasing heavy metals. Of course, he talks about it from a natural hygiene perspective, and he isn't talking about using the sauna, but all of my symptoms correlated with everything that he was mentioning. Now, having used the steam sauna and the major setup and breakdown of the whole ordeal of that, I started researching other saunas, and I found one of the best saunas on the market, which is the Relax Sauna. It's a far infrared sauna, and I decided to try this one because it delivers the most infrared technology to your body. Most of the infrared saunas on the market are like 20% infrared. Well, this one I believe is 90 or 95%, and it is so easy to set up. Once it's set up, it's done. All you have to do is just be ready to get in it and flip a switch. Turn the dial and you're ready to go. It has two switches that you can turn on both at the same time to run the infrared. Then it's got a timer on it so you can set the timer. I worked my way up. I started at 15 minutes and I worked my way up to 20 to 25 minutes. Sometimes I do it once a day. Sometimes I do it twice a day. This sauna is so convenient and it feels so good. So I just get in there in the mornings and I sauna for 20 to 25 minutes. It has little armholes that you can read a book or look at your phone. I like to sometimes watch videos as well. Here on YouTube, I'll watch YouTube videos while I'm in the sauna. I'll even meditate in there. It's just so relaxing and it feels so good. Then when you sweat, you can tell how much you're sweating. And it's just a really convenient way to sauna at home. There are so many benefits to the infrared sauna that I'm gonna post them here while I'm talking so that you can see them. I'll also post the benefits down below so that you can read them if you wanna see them right in the information box below. Like I said, if you have access to saunas in your gym, or some people might have access to a sauna at their work, whatever that may be, saunas are amazing and I highly recommend doing it. As far as exercise goes, the studies show that endurance exercise will produce the results that you are looking for when it comes to sweating. There are four types of exercise, endurance, strength, balance, and flexibility. Endurance exercise is also known as aerobic exercise and it includes activities that increase your breathing and heart rate like walking, jogging, swimming, and biking. I was also told by my mom's practitioners that exercise-induced sweating creates more acidity in your body and so if you're trying to remove acids and become more alkaline and like in her case we were trying to get rid of her cancer it was best to do the sauna. So that being said, the steam sauna and the infrared sauna seem to work the same because I continue to have the metallic taste in my mouth I've now been in the sauna every day, sometimes twice a day, for three full weeks, coming up on four weeks now. It's something I believe everyone should do because of the benefits and because of the high risk of cancer and diseases and illnesses on the rise. 
You want to get rid of these chemicals in your body. You don't want them sitting there. You want to get this stuff out so your body and your immune system can thrive so that you can function at an optimal level. In addition to my experience, I also want to say that while my mom was using the sauna, we noticed big differences in her as well. First of all, the side effects of the drugs that she was experiencing from the corticosteroid that the doctors had her on initially, she had the worst side effects from that drug and the sauna helped to get that drug out of her system and really we saw such a big difference in her every time we had her in the sauna and she came out. Her body was more relaxed, she wasn't as symptomatic and it really made a huge difference on those symptoms. It also helped tremendously with just the appearance of her skin overall. Her skin looked amazing and every single nurse Every family member, every friend who came over was in awe of how amazing her skin looked from right up until the time that she passed. It was incredible. So a big part of that was the fact that we had changed her diet dramatically, that she was doing the sauna therapy and all of the herbs and things that she was taking to try to heal her body. Now my husband has also been using the infrared sauna and he is experiencing detoxification effects. He's noticing that every time he uses the sauna that he ends up with his head draining a lot of mucus. And he's also experiencing some metallic tastes in his mouth. So we've both been experiencing interesting effects from being in the sauna and we both love it so much, especially on cold mornings and as we move into the winter time, and it gets colder, it's gonna be even more enjoyable. It just feels so relaxing. The best way I can describe it is just being out on the beach on a hot, sunny day and having the sun penetrate your skin. There's just a feeling that comes over, me anyway, when I'm out in the sun that just feels so, so good. It's just like this, there's like an energy to it or something and it's just this penetrating, warmth that just feels so amazing. So that's what the sauna feels like to me and I'm typically always on the warmer side and uh, I don't have any issues with being in the sauna. There's two boxes inside the sauna and each one is controlled with a separate knob. So if you do end up getting too warm, you can turn one of them off, but I haven't ever had to, to do that. The warmth comes on so nicely and I always just keep a fan running overhead and in front of me to keep my head cool and it just makes it really comfortable and when you're watching a video or reading a book, the time goes by so quickly. So if you're interested in getting the Relax Sauna, I'm offering a special discount to all of my viewers to be able to get this sauna because I think it's so important and I think it's so amazing. I've teamed up with the Relax Sauna people. They are an amazing company and their product is wonderful. So I want to bring that to you and make it available to you so you can have it in your home. And if you think about what you would have to pay in order to have a membership at a gym to be able to go use a sauna if you don't have access to one already, the savings that you will reap and the benefits that you will reap over the long term of investing in a home sauna like this one is so great. It's so worth the money and so beneficial. If you're interested, I'm gonna have links in the box below this video. You can check it out, see if it's something that's for you. This is probably one of the most gentle ways to detoxify your body and one of the most pleasant ways. Even though you might feel some symptoms, it is so worth it to go through those symptoms to get this stuff out of you because you'll probably see a huge difference in your overall health and well-being, which is number one. It's so important. If you do want to sauna, it's pretty much safe for everybody except pregnant women. So if you're pregnant, you don't want to sauna, you'll definitely want to check with your doctor first if you're seriously considering doing this. No matter what condition you have, you want to make sure that your doctor approves it for you. But if you're generally healthy and you're not pregnant, it's pretty much safe for everyone. 
I hope that you will take action and find a way to sweat, get those toxins out. Even if you feel healthy, everybody is exposed to heavy metals and toxins and BPA and all of that stuff. And you want to get that stuff out of your body. It's very difficult to get rid of it just through diet alone because the metals are very heavy. It makes getting them out very difficult. So that's why sweating is so important. It's an easy way to get it out without having too much detoxification effects. I'd also like to say it's very important to hydrate. When you're going to be in the sauna often or regularly, before and after, you want to hydrate with lots of fluids. And because the sauna makes you sweat and lose water, you want to replace that hydration. I really hope that this video was informative. I hope that you got something out of it. So if you found this video helpful, it would help me a lot if you gave this video a thumbs up. Please share it with your family, your friends, and your loved ones, especially those who could really benefit from this type of therapy. Okay, that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do that now, and I will see you all right here next week with another video on detoxification.